Hello everyone, welcome back to AITaekwon.com. My name is Sumit and today I'm here with my new video in Salesforce Einstein Analytics or you can call it as the Tableau CRM. And the topic for today is we will be going to discuss how do we configure a row level security based on role hierarchy and record ownership. So you might have gone through my previous session, previous recording, previous video. In that video, I explain how do we implement the security, row level security based on record ownership. So in that, we restrict the access to records based on the user who owns the records. But in today's session, we'll be going to see how do we combine the role hierarchy restrictions and the record ownership restrictions for both the conditions together for a role level security in Einstein analytics in WCR? And this ensures that the users, they can see only those records which they own or they are allowed to access via roles. So let's begin with today's session. And yes, as always, feel free to ask your questions and share your thoughts. And if you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel yet, don't forget to do that. And also don't forget to press the bell icon to get the updates on the latest videos or latest topics. So stay tuned for more Salesforce tips and tools. And let's get started. So in order to implement, in order to configure the role level security based on role hierarchy and record and the role hierarchy and record ownership in Einstein Analytics. So there's a term in Salesforce, WCRM, and we used to call it as a security predicate. So by using security predicate, we can perform customizations. So let me open my Salesforce org. First of all, let me switch to my Salesforce org. And this is my Salesforce org. And in this Salesforce org, that's the opportunity data set. And when I edit this data set, right now you can see there will be no restriction with the record. There will be no security predicate. The security predicate, which we configured in my last video, I've removed that security predicate. I've cleared that so that I can configure it again. So security predicate. And now, if, and now if I slow this data set right now, so as you can see, when we create a lens using this data set, we can see all the records, uh, all 712 records. And if I just say owner name, so I will be able to see all the records owned by all the users. In same manner, when I switch to uh, another Salesforce instance, and you can see this in this Salesforce instance, I logged in as Laura. So I logged in as Laura Gaza here. And in this, when I explore this data set and create a lens out of the same data set, then what happened here also we'll be able to preview all 712 records. And if we explore, we'll be able to see the records owned by all the users. But now we wanted to add a restriction on this. We want to add a security predicate. And the reason of implementing a security predicate is, let me show you the role hierarchy in Salesforce and the list of users we got. So first of all, I'll just switch for roles. Here are my roles. And let me open users also. Let me show you users. List of users. So here are the list of users. So, as you... so these are the default roles in Salesforce. And as you can see, here we used to have CEO, CIO, Sales WW, Sales Summer, Sales EM, EA. So we got almost uh, five to six uh, existing role hierarchies. And in this Sales Summer and Sales EM, EA, they used to report to Sales WW, and uh, Sales WW will be reporting to CEO. Now, let me quickly go in. Uh, demonstrate you will I mean I'll quickly show you that these roles we have assigned to users and we have active users and if I'll just check the active users a list of active users so there is one user and my name as a summit so my role is a CEO role then there is one more user called Laura Gerza and the role for Laura Gerza is sales WW so that 
that means as a sales ww uh laura gaza will be able to access his own record and the records owned by sales amit and sales e m e a so we would like to put a restriction here in uh, in einstein analytics that whenever laura gaza logged in so laura gaza will be able to access the records owned by uh himself and the the records owned by sales samir and sales e m e a and if a user logged in as ceo so being a ceo uh here i am the ceo here right now my role is a ceo role. so as a ceo i would be able to access the records owned by cio sales ww sales samir and sales e m e a so in this case we have to do a customization and what customization we need to do we need to take help of flatten transformation so what exactly flatten transformation is so basically this flatten transformation uh, this is available in einstein analytics flatten transformation and in salesforce data pipeline the flatten transformation a hierarchical data and we can use to implement the role level security on data set based on the role hierarchy so this flatten transformation in einstein analytics this will help to apply the data transformation level based on uh, role hierarchy and how this data how this flatten transformation works in this flatten transformation whenever we configure a flatten transformation it used to create two part uh, two fields role and role path the role path the role field it contains the comma separated values and the role path it contains the uh, the uh, it the role path contains the slash separated values and as you can see uh, once you understand this table it will be easy for you to understand the flatten transformation as you can see every role we have every role there will be a role id assigned and there are some parent roles there will be a parent role for every role now in my case as a ceo there will be no parent role because ceo is always at the upper level in the hierarchy but for vp1 and vp2 ceo is the the parent that means both vp1 and vp2 they will be reporting to ceo then we have rm1 and rm2 so rm1 and rm2 both of them will be they will be reporting to vp1 and uh, then we have sp was sales person 1 2 and 3 so sales person 1 and 2 they will be reporting to their parent role record parent role id is number 10 that means they will be reporting to rm1 and uh, for sales person 3 the parent role id is number 11 that means this will be reporting to rm2 like this way we used to configure role hierarchy and uh, the roles and the role path they will contain that this particular uh, who all can access the records owned by this user this uh, the user and this role now in this case all those users whose role will be number 10 and whose role id number 10 number 20 and number 30 so number 10 means rm1 number 20 means vp1 and number 30 means ceo and obviously he will uh, he himself will be able to access his own record so this will be the complete uh, this will be the complete final result so we need to configure the similar kind of thing in einstein analytics and for this we will take help of data set recipe and uh, this is the opportunity data set we are going to customize so let me open my data manager let me switch to my data manager and in data manager i have already configured this in my custom recipe and how you have to do this because we want to apply this flatten transformation based on roles so therefore when i add a uh, when i add a node call user role which contains the columns uh, as you can see this user role this contains the columns right now the uh, it contains the column let's say user role id role name and parent role id So as you can see, there are there will be only three columns. I added only three columns: uh, the ID, name, and parent role ID into this user role. When I say user, we get ID, user name. These are the columns. These are the columns, and here we have user role ID. And before we perform a join between user and user role, I did a transformation. And in this transformation, I used here flatten transformation node. so here you can see there's a flatten transformation and in this flatten transformation i just specify the record id column parent id column will be parent role id and uh, i just want to add a hierarchy node column label that is role and the hierarchy hierarchy path 
that means this one, the comma separated and the uh, forward slash separated. I just give them name and apply. And once I click on apply, as you can see, a hierarchy will be available here. And this hierarchy will help us to apply a security predicate. And once we finalize this, I, so I just perform a join between user role and user, where user will be on left side and user role will be right side. So here I have performed a left join. In same manner, once after this join, after this result, again I perform a join with the opportunity because the final result we would like to preview from opportunity. And finally, this is the final result. So now if we look at the data set, uh, this is our opportunity data set. And if I explore this data set, in this data set, we used to have the columns, let's say full name, and you can see role ID, roles, and roles path. Roles and roles path. So now what I'm going to do, I will be going to apply a security predicate on this. And in order to add a security predicate, we will be going to write a statement. So for in order to configure a security predicate, what I'm going to do, let me quickly edit this data set. Because as you know that the security predicate, we always apply on a data set level. So I just edit the data set and here's the security predicate. So the very first thing is I'm going to apply. So the requirement is we need to apply a security predicate based on record ownership and role hierarchy. So I'm going to pass the statement. And this will be the statement. I just write here owner name is equals to dollar user dot name or owner dot role dot roles is equals to dollar user dot user role ID. And from there we get this. When we talk about owner dot uh, name, that is dollar user dot name, owner dot role dot roles. So if we if we explore the data set, we have this. Uh, this is available actually this field owner dot role dot roles. And when we explore this, we can check it out here. So owner dot role dot roles show field. And here we have owner dot roles. So we are looking for this roles. And if I'll explore this field API name, so for roles it is owner dot role dot roles. And I'll use this comma separated value for uh, apply a security predicate on the data set. So that's the way I add a I just configure a security predicate based on uh, ownership and role hierarchy. I'll just save this and explore this. So right now, because uh, as uh, I here I logged in as Sumit, so therefore I would be able to preview all the records. So let me explore this one more time. I let me refresh this. Let me refer this once and then I'm going to explore this data. And once I click on explore, I would be able to preview this. I can access or can preview all 712 records. But if I logged in as Laura Gaza, so let me switch my login and this data stores into a portion of data set. I switch, I log in as Laura Gaza. I'll just click on login and I'm going to log in as Laura Gaza. And uh, let me refresh this also, the analytics. Analytics, so in analytics also I log in as Laura Gaza. And you can see, uh, because I logged in as Laura Gaza, so I would be able to preview only 673 records. If I further explore this, I just say owner dot name, owner dot name. And uh, I'll just say owner dot role dot name, owner dot role dot. So same promise. So there is no record by owned by CEO or CIO. Okay, but we'll be able to so but this user will be able to see all the records owned by sales Amir and sales EMEA and sales Abdul. So that's the way we can implement or we can configure a security. Uh, we can configure security in Einstein Analytics based on record ownership and role hierarchy. So that's all in this video. If you like this, you can press the, you can post your comment in comment box. Give a thumbs up if you like this video. Contact us for the customized training on Salesforce. Have a nice day. Goodbye.